Hey, loser. Psst, hey, loser. Huh? Nobody likes your YouTube huh? channel. You can't even get 50 likes. What the f? <laughs> it sucks, Paul. What's going on? It sucks. It sucks. <laughs> go back to sleep, man. Yeah, that's right. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not going to be telling you guys how to save yourself from nightmares like you just experienced in that last scene, but I'm going to be talking about five tips that I think is going to tremendously help you and your sleep quality, get a better sleep, get a deeper sleep, feel more rested, feel more energetic the next day when you wake up. Um, these are really simple things I think a lot of people are missing. Uh, for myself, I've implemented it just learning as much as I can through the aura ring, uh, testing a lot of different things with, with my sleep. And so, yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, so tip number one. If you like snacks like me before bedtime, I know, I love snacks. If you love snacks though before bedtime, make sure you're having a snack 90 minutes before bed. But even better is have a low carb, high fat snack. The reason why you want a low carb, high fat snack right before bed is that this will ensure that your blood sugar levels stay very stable. So in contrast, if you actually have a high carb snack before bedtime, this will actually cause your blood sugar level to spike up and then you'll wake up in the middle of the night. And usually you don't wanna be waking up in the middle of the night. Am I right? Tip number two, go easy on the bottle. way too cold for me it's good though so the good thing about having a drink before bed is that yes you do fall asleep faster but there's an issue with this drinking before bed but the crappy thing with drinking before bed is it affects your REM sleep your rapid eye movement sleep so why do you actually want to have good levels of REM sleep throughout the night is it's gonna help you with memory processing and learning drinking alcohol before bed you're gonna actually not get as deep as a sleep. Your brain won't be fully rejuvenated and you'll have inconsistent levels of REM sleep throughout the night. Then when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna feel like crap. So it's completely up to you. You don't have to be smashed to get bad levels of REM sleep. You can just have like alcohol in your system. It's gonna affect the levels of REM sleep. So if you have a test tomorrow, if you have an important day tomorrow, don't drink before bed. And try to at least have three hours I have your last drink three hours before bed, so you know I'm going to bed here in a few hours, so I'm gonna finish this puppy up. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so tip number three is get to bed at the right time. Timing your sleep is like timing in the stock market. It doesn't matter how much you invest, it is the right timing of your investment. So same thing with sleep, it's timing your sleep properly. So it's been shown in us human beings to get the most beneficial hormonal secretions and recovery of sleep is sleeping in between the hours of 10 o'clock p.m. and 2 a.m. Even though you might be thinking, Kiefer, if I go to bed at 1 a.m. and wake up at 9 a.m., boom, that's eight hours of sleep. That's all I really need to have a great day ahead of me. But look at what I was just saying, to get the most beneficial time of these hormones, including like uh, melatonin, HGH, human growth hormone. You want to stay, you want to stay more vibrant, and you want to stay looking young for a longer period of time. Go to bed early. A lot of people are getting eight hours of sleep and going to bed late and feeling like crap because they're not rejuvenated. They, you didn't have these high levels of melatonin or HGH actually really kicking in in your body, so you need to go to bed early. So something fascinating I've been also experimenting with this whole time horizon of 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. is. When I was falling asleep around 10 p.m., I would go to bed at 10 p.m., right? I'd be like, oh, I'd fall asleep within maybe 20 minutes. But when 10 p.m. rolls around, this is when your body is going through a transformation and melatonin is rising through the body. The purpose of this transformation is to repair, strengthen, and rejuvenate your body through metabolic energy. But if you're awake around 10 p.m., like I was going to bed around, I was getting ready for, for a bed around 10 p.m., is that it increases metabolic energy, and then you're gonna experience the second wind. The second wind is kinda like, now all of a sudden you feel awake and energized, right? Do you guys see what I'm saying? Do you guys ever experience it? So I know it's hard. I know for some people it's very hard. It was hard for me as well to go to bed really early. I, I find myself being very creative 
and the later you stay up the more creative your mind is but the thing is is if you really want to have that rejuvenating sleep make sure that you're sleeping by 10 p.m okay so tip number four i'm in the bathroom it's kind of weird i'm getting ready for bed but we got to finish this video right so tip number four is don't wake up in the middle of your sleep cycles do not disturb your sleep cycles you might be wondering well what are sleep cycles keeper so sleep cycles um we have about 90 minute sleep cycles. And during a sleep cycle, we go through like a restorative uh, deep sleep. We go through non-REM sleep, which is like more alert phase. And we go through REM sleep, which is uh, the dreamy state. So these sleep cycles, again, they last for 90 minutes. You don't wanna be waking up in the middle of it and disturbing it. So for example, if you're waking up, if you're sleeping by 10 and you wanna get eight hours of sleep, you don't wanna be waking up at six. You wanna be waking up at 5.30 because that's seven and a half hours of sleep, which equates to that 90 minute uh, you know, every 90 minutes just reoccurs again and again and again. So um, this is something that I didn't actually know about until I started learning more about my sleep through the Aura Ring is do not wake up in the middle of your sleep cycles. It's huge. I think just in general, disturbing your sleep is just terrible for you. You're going to feel more groggy if you wake up in the middle of your sleep cycle. So make sure that you time it properly and you're timing 90 minutes um, every few hours. So instead of sleeping eight hours, sleep seven and a half hours. Okay, so tip number five. You guys might be actually wondering too, like, you're in the same place, man. Like, yeah, it's locked down and I'm trying to make it more entertaining. So hang in there with me, okay? So tip number five, last tip is, it's about working out. And I think a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are always like, Keeper, you're so handsome and um, you're in such great shape. So we wanna know about working out and sleep. So I'm gonna get right into it. This is actually really interesting when it comes down to working out uh, in the morning or at nighttime is, there is some research done at the State University in Boone, North Carolina, and the researchers took participants and got them to work out at 7 a.m., 1 p.m., and 7 p.m. And so what they ended up finding out was that people that worked out early in the morning, they, they were in a, the stage of the deep sleep, which is the restoring phase, 75% higher than the people that worked out at nighttime. So the only issue that I find when it comes to working out at nighttime is that it increases your internal core body temperature and you don't wanna be going to bed hot. You wanna be going to bed cold because it takes around four to six hours for your body to naturally start to decrease its core temperature because our bodies will go through a phase called thermoregulation and that's our body starting to decrease its internal core temperature so that we uh, have an optimal um, sleep environment when it's time for bed. So tip number five, I would say, you know what? I still work out at night sometimes. I don't always work out in the morning. I do feel better when I work out in the morning, but try working out in the morning. If you wanna work out, um, you'll have a better uh, deep sleep than most people that work out in the evenings. Okay, folks, well, it's been a slice. So if you guys liked the video, you learned something from it, like this video, subscribe to my channel as well if you're interested in health and fitness. This is stuff I'm really passionate about. I just thought I'd give my five tips on how to get a better sleep. So uh, yeah. I'm going to finish this beer, make sure I go to bed three hours later. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. See you around.